Good morning guys. How you all doing? Today we are on our final. So today we're gonna finish. We're about to finish the back section of our new project as you see. It's gonna be my last. I have maybe like two more hours. So I only have that much left up top there to do now. Then we're gonna start on the side section. Started to pull on my scaffolding right now. Hey guys, let's dive right into the video. Hey guys, welcome back. How's it going? So we're continuing with our uh, octagon window. Let's dive right into it, guys. As you see here, I, I hook up my line. This is my 45 line. This line, I run it in the center. Chase your mark right onto the window and then you just lay your brick right to it. It's better to plumb every one of them as you go up. That way you don't have to bang them too much. This one, instead of you cut it right across, I cut it halfway and then I just snap the back and bring it up. doesn't tie in. So brick ties is basically what's gonna hold it in place. you get in value from this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up
guys, I'm working on an octagon here at the back of the house. It's taking up so much time, man. Lots of cuts. But I mean, we're almost finished now still. It took us like, um, actually it took me like uh, four days. I have a bricklayer here with me, but he said he don't want to work on the octagon, so just have to challenge it myself, right? To try to get it done. Today we're gonna get the octagon finished and then we're gonna start with our sidewalk. I'm trying to see if I could pass the, the winter. They're calling for snow out here in Toronto, out here in Canada. They said we might get the first glass of snow this week. I hope not guys. I hope not because I am not ready for that yet. I still have two houses here that I, I have to finish. So. Once you finish that one, you want to run your level across, make sure. This one is flushing even with this one here. Make sure everything is uh, so when you put your hand line in, it's not gonna look crooked. Do the joints right away. to try and, and come up at least a quarter inch above your window that way your angle line doesn't sit right on top of the window later on in case they want to remove the window they can easily pop it out without have to damage the brick Finish this section, we're gonna do our drawing.
flush, 100%. Thank you for watching.